Good afternoon, everyone. Nathan Standridge here, and today is day number eight for the Bluebird bus conversion project. It is five o'clock in the afternoon and I am having one of the craziest days ever. We had a gas shortage in North Carolina, so I sat in line for about two hours to fill up my gas tank, which is empty, and I've uh, been waiting for the rain to stop ever since. It's freezing out here and super wet, but I wanted to get some work done, so I'm gonna go ahead and brave the cold and start moving along. So the penny trick, worked wonders as you can see um, all of our silicone is super dry now and we're feeling good about that but i noticed because of the rain there are a couple places i can't maybe just one place one or two places where water is coming into the bus so today i got my butyl tape came in the mail uh, which is for the windows so i'm going to go ahead and bra brave the cold Tear out all windows, seal them up, and uh, paint the floor after that is done. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And uh, hopefully it's not going to be that big of a challenge. It's uh, These windows are pretty easy to take out. Um, and once I have them out, just re-tape them, seal them from the outside, and that's it. Uh, it should be pretty simple. But, you know, I say that a lot, and oftentimes things are not as simple as they seem. Anyways, we're going to get to that, get that done first, and then, uh, depending on the time, I might get the floor plant painted tonight before it gets dark outside. So, we'll see how it goes. Alright? Thanks. Bye bye. So, I was told that these old windows had uh, butyl tape that lined them. I absolutely do not see that. I just see silicone. So I had previously purchased five rolls of this rubber butyl tape. Um, and I was gonna use this metal silicone as well to fill the outsides. But I might, depending on how I feel, I might just use silicone to reseal them. Um, they're actually in really good shape. There's only two of them where I found cracks. So they're both over here as well. So that is probably where um, that, w that one little streak of water is coming in. But I'm just gonna go ahead and reseal them all. Doesn't look like it's gonna be too complex. Um, I'm just pulling them out and then you can see right here all of this old silicone that I'm just going to scrape right off of there. And so we'll see, this might be an area right here for some butyl tape to actually go. So if I feel like it warrants it, I might just put two strips of butyl tape on either side of the window and then just caulk the bottom. So, like I said, we'll see if it's even worth it. Um, but that's what I'm gonna be doing. So, just learning as we go. So, let's get to it. Mm -hmm. 